can start doing some decluttering in my makeup collection. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some decluttering in my makeup collection. And here I have my bronzers, highlighters, powders, and some more powders back here. These are more loose powders. So let's start back here. And here I have the ELF tone correcting powder. And to be honest, I don't really reach for this too much because I feel like it looks very drying and cakey on the skin. And I really want to like it, so I think I'm gonna give it uh, one more try. And some foundations this, this goes good with and others not, so I just have to figure that out. So I'm gonna keep this for now. Here I had a ELF High Definition Powder. And this is just a normal white translucent one. And I don't think this acts that so well on my skin. It uh, looks very drying too and like makes the foundation cake up. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one and give it to a friend or something. The next product is the Max Factor, what's it called? Translucent Professional Loose Powder. This is a is translucent, but it's not a white one. It's more like a skin tone one, and this one I really like. So I had to try, try to use this more. I don't really like loose powders, but I'm gonna try to use this one because I really like it. So I'm just gonna keep that. Uh, the last of the loose powders is this Benefit Bluff Dust. Old is a redness concealing powder. So, and I barely used it. I don't think it was that great when I used it, but uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna uh, throw this away because it's very old. Um, next up is powders here. And the first powder I have here is the Rimmel Stay Matte. This looks like it's pretty much empty, uh, but I haven't used it that much lately and it's starting to get old so I'm just gonna throw that away. Next one is the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the color 130. I like this powder and it's barely anything left. So uh, I think um, and it's a little old too so I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one too. Here is my favorite uh, foundation. I actually have the other ones here. Three of it. This is the old packaging. This is the new one. This is the Glow Mineral Pressed Base. And all of them is in beige light. Uh, they are this one. It's almost empty. And so is this one. But there's a little more left. But this one, it's pretty much empty but I'm just gonna try to use that because this is a very expensive powder so all of this is a keep next one is my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish it's the old packaging and this one is uh, pretty much empty too but I'm just gonna try to finish it just because it's a nice powder um, the next one is the Manhattan Compact Powder it's an antibacterial one and reduce shine. This one I bought in Germany. And I really like this one. It's a very soft, nice powder that's nice to set the under eye concealers and such. So I really like this one. It's a very affordable brand. Next one is the Miss Sporty So Clear Anti Blemish Action Press Powder. I think it says in translucent too. And I really like this powder as well and it's very affordable so I'm just gonna keep that. Next up I have the Kiko Makeup uh, Milano um, Soft Focus Co Compact Wet and Dry Mineral Foundation in the color number 02 and it has a sponge. So far, uh, so far I really like this powder and it's a nice match so I'm gonna keep this one. 
And here is my favorite setting powder. It's the Kiko color uh, correcting powder. It looks like this. And I really like this one. I used it, use it pretty much every single day to set my foundation. And it gives like a natural finish. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. Next one is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. Um, last time I used it, I didn't really like it that much, but I have heard some people talking, saying good things about it. So I'm gonna try it out and see, otherwise I would throw it away. The last powder is the Sexy Mama Anti Shine Translucent Powder from The Balm. This looks like this. I haven't used it that much, but I so f I like translucent powder that's not completely white. But so far I really like it, so I'm gonna keep this one. Now, take some bronzers. I have some bronzers down here. Okay, let's do this. Uh, the first is the Elf Warm Bronzer. I think this is the one in the golden shade, if I'm not mistaken. And I really like using this uh, foundation every now and then. It looks pretty nice, in my opinion. Just a light bronze powder. So I'm gonna keep that one. Next one is not really a bronzer, but I didn't read it much when I bought it. It's the P2C La Vie. Be a Captain Perfect as a powder. Uh, and it's in 0 to 200 beige, but this one is a bronze color for me, so I use it as a bronzer, and I really like it as much, of course, and if, because it's a powder, it really blends in nicely in the skin, so I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, the next one is the NYC Big Bold Bronzer in the color Metropolitan Tan, and I love this bronzer. I even prefer this bronzer over the NYC Smooth Skin one. This one is more pigmented and it has more like a contouring bronze effect. This was more orange, this is a little more redder tone. Sure. So I think I'm gonna keep this one and um, get rid of this. Next one is the Essence Sun Club uh, Brunette Shimmering Bronzing Powder. It's only shimmering on the top. If you have getting the layers off, it's not. I don't know what I think about it. Some days I like it, some days I don't. So I just have to see and then try it a little more. Next one is the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in 03 in medium matte. It looks like this. It's a very nice bronzer. It's very nice. One. It's a little light, but it's nice if you just want a little bit of color on your face. Then I have the Elf Bronzer in Truly Bronze Matte. Uh, this one doesn't swatch anymore. Like, you barely get anything in your hand. I'm just gonna get this rid of, rid of this. It's very cheap, so it doesn't really matter. Here I have first the Kula bronzer from Benefit, we really like this one, and I barely have a heat pan and set, so I'm just gonna use that up. We really like it. Next one is the W7 Makeup and Glow Bronzer Base, that's a cream bronzer. We really like that one, just got it, so of course, gotta keep that one. I have the W7 the Bronze Matte Compact, looks like this. It's a really nice uh, bronzer that I also recently hauled. So of course I'm gonna keep that one, and of course one of my favorites, the Bahama Mama Bronze Powder. That of course also is gonna still keep and use. It's a nice bronzer. And that was it for my bronzer highlighting and powder drawer. And these are the things I got rid of: the Benefit Bluff Dust and the Elf High Definition Powder. The NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer, the Fit Me Powder, uh, an Elf Bronzer, and the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder.
So I'm going to keep filming these decluttering videos and hope you enjoy it and subscribe for more. And I'll see you later. Bye!